Hello, everybody, and welcome back for our last stop. We have found Jason Dobbs down in Lynchburg, Tennessee, the head coach of the Moore County Raiders, who is now 2-0, and and we bring him on live. How you doing, Coach? I'm doing good, Stork. How about yourself? Well, I'm doing really good. I uh, went down to Alabama and uh, watched Blackman win on uh, Friday night and uh, going to, supposed to, headed over to uh, Cookville uh, Friday night and watch Warren County and Cookville. Doing good. Well, uh, you came away with with a big win against Community, and uh, let's talk about Community and what, what, what happened uh, happened on Friday night. Well, we started out pretty good. Uh, I had a few penalties that kind of set us back, but we wound up uh, taking care of business. Had Dylan Vassar rush for 169 yards and two touchdowns. Uh, my fullback, Dylan Knight, he went for over 100 again for two consecutive weeks. Wow. Uh, defensively, we played really well. We, uh, we, uh, as I told him at halftime, I said, we continue to bend, but we have not broke yet. Uh, we went in at halftime up, uh, and they scored late against our twos, threes, whatever we got left kind of thing. So uh, we had a good night. Good night in Moore County. Well, uh, this next one's going to be a little bit tougher and everything. How did our quarterback play? Quarterback played well. You know, we uh, com- actually completed two passes, so he uh, he actually has uh, some stats now for this year. Uh, I think we rushed for 400 and some odd yards and had two completions for about 30 yards. So, you know, we, uh, we showed we could pass it. I don't know how well we pass it, but uh, we did put the ball in the air. Well, that's always a good thing. <laughs> at least, at least you completed them, you know. Because two, th- there's three things that happen when you put it in the air, and two of them aren't good. That's what I've always been told. You know, I learned from uh, uh, Coach Satterfield when I first started coaching. He didn't throw the ball ball very much. He said I throw it six times a game, and five of those are in warm ups. <laughs> and uh, he said there, his daddy always told him there was three things that can happen when you throw the ball, and two of them are bad. So. <laughs> Five in warm-ups, that's pretty good. Uh, all righty, all righty, Coach. Uh, boy, uh, what have you been doing this week uh, down in Lynchburg to get ready for this next one as we get ready to talk about your next opponent? Well, you know, Stuart, we got we got a tall task this week, and, and as everybody in the state knows and they've quoted, we'll find out where Moore County football is this week. Uh, we go to Cornersville to play the number two team in the state in uh, single A. It's also a region game, so it has a lot of implications there. Uh, they return nine starters on defense from last year's state champ- or state runner-up team. So uh, we got our hands full, but we're up to the challenge. Uh, just hope we can go over there and uh, and not get corn dog ruled. You know that's what they're calling it over there because they've yet to play four quarters at Cornersville this year. Uh, so uh, we're going to do our best to make them play four quarters and see what happens. Well, and uh, what I mean, different from the other Cornersville teams and everything. What 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 is what is their attack? What do they like to do? And and, and as we talk about the Bulldogs, I mean, what is their what is their running? Well, they're they're wing tee. They got two really really good wing backs and uh, the Woodard kid and the Whitaker kid. Of course, they started most of their seniors have started for three years. So right. Uh, they went through some adversity, and they understand what it means to uh, to fight back. And they've done; they had a good year last year, and they're trying to do better this year. So, you know, we got our hands full, like I said. But uh, we're we're up for the challenge. Uh, you know, I just hope we can keep it a competitive game and and not get corn dog ruled. Well, I talked to your buddy earlier today. He. Uh... He gave me an interview, but uh, he's he's still licking his wounds from last Friday night and his long three-hour trip across the state. But he said he might come down and see you Friday night. You know, he's off, and he says, I might go down and watch Coach Dobbs. Yeah, I just got off the phone with him. Matter of fact, I've uh, bounced some ideas off of him. You know, when uh, you got a game of this magnitude, you try to reach out to all, all your 
your people that you worked for or worked with and try to get advice. Uh, Coach A. Lots broke down some film. Coach, a, uh, Coach Creasy's watched some film. You know, I, like I said, I, I'm not too proud to take advice from anybody. Well, so, uh, yeah, and you know, you know, and you know what, uh, Coach Creasy isn't too shabby either because guess who he was taking advice from against his opponent? Just his, he's taking advice from the master himself, who's got over 400 wins. And you know, he told him, he says, you know, if you're gonna beat them, you're gonna have to pound them. Got to pound them all four quarters. That's it. Well, that's it. Well, what's your schedule like for the weekend? What are you gonna do uh, on Monday? You gonna let them? You gonna run them on Monday? You gonna practice a little bit on Monday? You gonna let them off on Monday? Well. As I told my guys, it depends on how you do Friday. Okay, so we got a little. That we got a little bit. Practice on Monday. Okay, so it's not a win or loss. It's about it, it's an effort. So Monday's an effort call. That's it. That's it. If they go out there and compete, like I said, we're everybody in the state's got us picked to lose. Uh, if we win, we'll shock everybody. So you know, I'm about competing and uh, never giving up and. Playing your best, you know, like I tell them every day, protect the football, block the whistle, tackle the ground, all good things will happen. So uh, that's what I'm looking for Friday night. Coach, good luck, and I hope you have a safe and happy Labor Day weekend. Well, thank you, sir. We'll I see appreciate you. you. All right, bye.